For 40 days, the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took his stand. Everybody said, take your stand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now Jesse said to his son David, take the ephah of roasted grain and uh, the, these ten loaves of bread for your brothers and hurry, somebody say hurry, to their camp. Everybody say, Lord, send somebody to my camp. I'm going to tell you who's coming. Are you ready for this? Take along these ten cheese uh, to the commander of their unit. See how your brothers and, uh, and bring back some assurance from them that they're alive and well. And they are with Saul and all the men of Israel in the valley of Elad fighting against the Philistine. Is there anybody fighting against any Philistine today? Uh, huh? tell you these messages not fit for man David. early in the morning david left the, the flock and came to the shepherd loaded up and set out as jesse had directed he reached the camp as uh, uh, as the army was going out to its battle position shouting the war cry he reached the camp mark that david reached the camp as the Israelite army was getting ready to go out to battle, taking their position and making their war cry. Israel and the Philistine were drawing up their line facing each other. David left the things with the keeper of supplies and ran to the battle line and asked the brother, how are they? As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, uh, uh, stepped out from his line and shout with uh, his, his usual defiant and David heard it. Somebody said David heard it. Uh, whenever the Israelites saw the man, they all fled from him in great fear. In <laughs> now the Israelites have been saying, do you see how this man keep coming out? He come out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to the man who kill him. He will also give him the daughter in marriage and will uh, exempt him from taxes and Israel. That don't matter right now. We're going to kill the giant. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I want to hop over quickly, 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 quickly uh, down to verse uh, 41 of chapter 17. Meanwhile, the Philistine with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming close to David. He looked David over and saw that he was a more than a boy glowing with health and handsomeness and he despised him. He said to David, am I a dog that you come with a stick? And a Philistine cursed David by his God. No, don't play with me. Am I God now? You're in trouble. You play with David and his God, you're sure to die. Everybody lift your hand and say, if you mess with me and my God, who is the Lord, you're sure to die. Uh -uh, don't, don't, don't play that game. Don't, you, can, you can maybe trouble me and get away, but when you start troubling me and my That spelled trouble for you, giant. Uh, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Come here, he said, and I give your feet, your, your flesh to the birds of the wild animal. David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and, and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord uh, Almighty, the God of the army of Israel, whom you defy. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I'll strike you down and cut off your head and uh, this very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord save for the battle is the Lord and he will give all of you into our hands. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody lift your hand and praise God. 
The anointed is about to kill your giant. You didn't hear. I said, have no fear. The anointed is about to kill your giant. Oh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not getting happy. This is a happy hour, but the anointed is about to kill your giant. Have no fear. Your helper is on the way. I say your destiny helper is on the way. The anointed. Who is the anointed? Uh, the Bible said that uh, 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 God rejected Saul. God rejected Saul as king. And in God's rejection of Saul, he made him weak. Even though he was still leading Israel's army, he was now a weak king because he was a rejected king. And I hear God say, Samuel, stop crying over Saul because I have rejected him as king over my people. But I want you to go down to the house of Jesse. And I want you to find me a king out of Jesse's lineage and anoint him for me. Somebody praise God. And so the Bible said Samuel sojourned down to Jesse's house. And the Bible said he checked out Jesse's boys. And when he was anointing the first one, God said, no, not that one. Man looks at the outside, but God looks at the heart. Somebody praise him here. And so the Bible said he searched to Jesse's sons and couldn't find one to anoint. And then he asked Jesse, is there anybody else in your lineage? Jesse said, yes, there's a little one. He's way around there taking care of the sheep. He's a little bush boy. He's not here. He's not one of the trained soldiers. He's not ready for this. But I hear Samuel say, nobody move until he comes home for the anointing. And the Bible said, when David arrived, Samuel, the Lord spoke to him and said, anoint him to be my king. And before his brothers, in front of his brothers, the Bible said, Samuel, pour the oil of anointing and anoint David to be king. Now, David was anointed, but he was not yet yet appointed because Saul was still reigning. Somebody praise God. And so the Bible now tells us after David's anointing, uh, he became anointed. Uh, somebody praise God. And now, 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 Saul and the army of God, of Israel, showed up uh, to fight the Philistine. And when they showed up for battle, they thought it was going to be an easy walkover. But they met up with a giant called Goliath. Somebody prays God here. Somebody prays God. Now Goliath was a great giant and he had an attitude. Lift your hand as a neighbor. Does your enemies have attitude? Are the people who are coming up against you behaving like they're bigger and better than you? Do they come with attitude? Somebody say yes. Say yes. Ah, he was a champion of the Philistine. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. And when he showed up, he immobilized the entire army of Israel by challenging one of them to a dual fight with him. He make a mockery of them. Lord Jesus. 
He made them forget that they had an absolute champion in the Lord their God. How many times does your enemy get up against you and they come against you so hard and so forceful that they make you even want to forget that God is in control of your life. They, the threat is so real and so deadly and dangerous that it drives fear and doubt in you. Not only do you doubt yourself, but you doubt God who is still able to deliver you because you're asking where is God in this problem that I'm going through uh, some of you serve him but you're still asking where is him some of you love him but because of the threat of the giant every day insult him hurling words at you challenging your very existence it drives fear and doubt in your life. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I'm coming. Can I preach a little further? Somebody praise God. And so the Bible said uh, he drove fear and doubt uh, in the Israelite army that they forget that they are the God uh, who never lose a battle. Uh, he took a young boy, uh, a shepherd boy, uh, who was anointed by the greatest prophet Samuel. Um, one day, uh, Jesse said to David, Now, your brother uh, is on the battle line fighting with Saul they're up against the Philistine army I don't hear from them in over 40 days I want to know how my boys are doing so I want you to take a shed pan with some food for the commanders and my sons and I want you to hurry to the battlefield and come back with word of assurance that my boys are okay. Somebody lift you and I say, neighbor, it's not okay yet, but you're not dead either. So every little thing is going to be all right. Why? Because God has looked down and saw you facing your giant. And for 40 days, maybe four months, maybe four weeks, maybe four years, Years, uh, maybe seven I don't know how long uh, you've been facing your giant uh, am I preaching to the wrong set of people here they have you at bay they have you at the battle line you want to cross but you can't cross because every day the giant is hurling insult at you the giant is a vicious killer and you are just a little warrior somebody praise God when you see the giant and hear the giant it drives fear and doubt in your mind you tell yourself uh, that you can't do it, uh, that you can't fight him uh, alone. Uh, well, I come to tell you, you don't have to do it alone anymore uh, because help uh, is on the way. Uh, somebody give God. Uh, feel my preaching kicking in. Uh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. And so the Bible says uh, they have been in, he have been insulting uh, the armies of Israel. Uh, he said, "Aren't you men of Saul?" Uh, but little did he know they were not for Saul. Uh, they were God's army, uh, not Saul's army. Uh, even though Saul was leading them, uh, they were God's army men. Uh, touch not the law. Somebody praise God. Somebody give him a praise. I'm coming. And so for 40 days, he stepped out against them. And when the giants step out, God's men backed up. They trembled in fear. They said, we can't fight him. Saul's offer them money. Saul offer them his daughter. But yet they were shaking in their boots. When the giant spoke, nobody moved. 
he said if you come over here and fight me and end up killing me then we will be yours but if I kill your man you all will be our slave somebody said the devil is a liar I will not be a slave to no man because if God be for I feel like preaching about the church if God be for me who can be against me I came out of slavery already way back in Egypt so tell the Philistine I ain't going back where I'm coming from can I talk to somebody here lift your God bless hand and say giant I'll never be your slave I'm gonna call for help I'm gonna call in back up because I can't manage you alone Jesus oh somebody trouble me feel God here feel my anointing coming somebody praise God lift your hand and say help of the helpless Hey, help of the helpless Lord somebody cry out now so fear grips them doubt took them they had no help but David was not yet there Saul is weak his brothers are weak can I preach it here and the soldiers ain't moving they backed up every time Saul sorry every time the giant step out they backed up in fear they shake in their boots and so they got ready to face the army of the Philistine and God knows they were gonna get ready to be defeated so God spoke to Jesse who spoke to the anointed you didn't hear what I just said God allowed Jesse to call in David the anointed and said David I want you to hurry I want you to hurry to the battle because something is about to go down today and the army of God is in challenge they're about to lose a war they should not lose because their leader is weak and can't fight for them somebody prays God so God walked in the anointed into the camp Jesse said David go down there and when you see my boys I want the news that they are okay bring them some food hurry up and get to the battle somebody lift your hand in desperation and say Lord hurry up send my helper send my deliverer send my help my help come from the Lord somebody praise God lift your hands lift up your head say I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence come it my help come on somebody you're shaking God the giant is overpowering insulting disgracing somebody here your life is in disarray God the there's a giant messing with your joy, messing with your peace, messing up your life. Holy your life at beer. You want to go forward, but you're stuck in one place. Today is your day. Are you ready, somebody? Am I talking to the right people? Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and praise him here. Lift your hand and praise him. Somebody say, God hurry up and send my deliverer lord hurry up and send my healer lord hurry up send my anointed to deliver me somebody praise god the bible said as they were getting ready to line up for battle and make the war cry david showed up the anointed showed up somebody praise God 
and the Bible said he dropped the shed pan he dropped the lunch kit and run to the battle line somebody praise God somebody say neighbor stop worrying now help us arrive help us arrive the anointed has arrived to deliver you from your giant can you praise God get excited the battle get ready to start are you ready for the war get ready the anointed has showed up to kill your giant the Bible said when David said to his brothers are you guys okay they said not really but we are here while he was talking to them he heard the giant opened his mouth and insult Israel one more time lift your hands and neighbor if you see that giant over there tell him it's the last time he will open his mouth to insult my life my God and my destiny somebody praise God giant the anointed has arrived you shouldn't hold me your mouth you shouldn't say a word say another word it now I'm gonna further say another word all right as I done today somebody get happy God the anointed has arrived David heard the giant open his mouth and insult Israel one more time I hear David said who is that uncircumcised Philistine who that why him checks he's defying the army of God in my this Israel and at this God somebody say kill or be killed somebody is about to die your giant must fall in the name of Jesus him could have big high and mighty clearly could David somebody lose me here somebody praise God somebody praise God praise God here I hear David say who that uncircumcised Philistine over there insulting disrespecting dishonoring the army of God look at your neighbor say neighbor tell my Philistine they shouldn't trouble you because when they trouble you they trouble God when they mess with you they mess with God do you know your giant get ready can I preach a little more I soon finish somebody praise God somebody praise God here somebody praise God the Bible said David get cross he get angry he get miserable he said what what, 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 what may I go get if me kill that over this somebody praise God his brother said shut up you can't manage him Saul said you're a little boy you're too cute to die today the devil is a liar lift your hands and say neighbor not take me simple my arm and dangerous I got the anointing I might not have hobia me no have no gathering me no have no highland powder me no sleep on a graveyard me no kill no puss and dog but I have Jesus I have power I have the anointing it will make a difference can I tell somebody here the anointed has arrived to kill your giant God saw that you were about to be defeated so he called up back up and sent David to the battle line who was anointed somebody praise God don't be afraid of your giant you have the anointing you have power you have God he is with you yeah though I walk through the valley 
of the shadow of death I will not fear no come on somebody praise the Lord praise God here praise God praise him the man David filled with the anointing says Saul no worry yourself Saul easy yourself he say Israel take it easy I will fight the giant I'll go over there and kill him like uh, I killed the lion and I killed the bear he's just one of them he's going down because he's defying the army of the Lord oh, who are trouble you somebody are trouble you there's a giant in your life messing with you they should have known you're no longer a slave to fear you are a child I'm talking to the real people I'm not talking to the people who only came for a little prayer can I talk to some people who know God that is able to deliver you from your giant don't worry yourself touch your neighbor to neighbor dry your tears stop backing up now move ahead now your anointed has arrived to kill to kill your giant somebody praise God lift your hands and say my giant is going down today 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 somebody praise God long time you are mess with me some people insult you call your name say things about you discourage you disgrace you disappoint you God, God Almighty they won't kill you they won't hurt you and your family they want to turn your children into their slave turn your family in the devil is a liar somebody said that will not happen in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth can I preach now KC I feel the Holy Ghost I feel my anointing lift your hand now and say neighbor giant must fall the bigger they are the harder they fall lift your hand and say David the anointed has arrived he stepped across the battle line with five stones and a slingshot somebody get ready to slew your giant am i preaching to anybody here give god the glory give him the praise god's army will not be defeated god's children will never go down in shame and disgrace the devil is a liar lift your hand say can't work god send down my destiny helper send my help god is our refuge and strength my very present help in time of trouble he will not suffer my full me I feel preaching somebody praise God it can't move your giant can't move you wait on the Lord be of good courage and he will strengthen thine heart wait I say he's sending your helper don't kill yourself don't commit suicide don't give up don't give in hold on a little while longer the same morning when they got ready to go to war david showed up with the anointing and said step aside now let me show you how to kill a giant oh you feel the kutumbra he said hold on israel in the battle is not yours it is the Lord he will give me power to slew your Goliath somebody saw Goliath last morning 
of insult, Goliath, last night of torment, Goliath, we want your head in a David hand, Goliath, we want your head, Goliath, you're going down, your big mouth, your big head, I get chopped off, somebody help the preacher here, shout hallelujah, say Goliath, Hallelujah, hallelujah. David crossed the line. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Get ready to cross the line. For many years, you couldn't cross the line. For many months, you couldn't cross the line. For many weeks, you couldn't cross the line. You were in bondage. You were trapped. You were being weakened by your enemy. But you cried out to the Lord and he declared that you shall not die but live and declare the word of the living God say Lord send my anointed to kill my giant send my anointed send the anointed send I don't need no false prophet I don't need no rejected prophet I need the anointed Saul can't fight my brothers can't do it but God will find a man and send he'll find an angel and send to fight your battle can I praise God somebody praise God he's an untimed God yes he is right on time he sent David the anointed into the war David arrived and said no worry Saul I will fight I will after 40 days somebody with the anointing finally decide to fight the giant he just arrived he was not there but he heard one talk from the giant and that was it he said this giant don't know that this army is the army of God this person you who I'm looking at you're a child of God so no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon form against you shall every tongue rise up they're going down giants must fall the bigger they are the harder i feel god the harder they come the harder they fall one and all somebody get happy your helper has arrived he stepped over the giant look at him and say, you little boy, I'm going to kill you. Feed your cute body to the birds. Somebody praise God. But David, look at the giant and say, you come to me with sword and spear and javelin. But I come in the name of the living God of Israel, whose army you defy today. Today, 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 God will put you in my hands. I'm going to kill you and your generation. I'm going to wipe you out. The whole Philistine, they're going down. Leave you as a neighbor. They should not trouble you. God, I'm going to give you power with the anointed to kill I feel I'm closing somebody praise him somebody praise him lift your hand and praise him such a neighbor say no over yet it's my time now the anointed has arrived somebody praise God David said today God will deliver you into my hands I'm going to kill you, cut off your head, feed you and your generation. 
to the birds and the wild bees for the battle is the Lord and they will know that there is a God in Mandeville can I preach Jamaica can I preach a word and tell the nation don't give up on God do you have a bro God there is a God in Jamaica who is getting ready to take out our giants somebody not saying anything I hear the Holy Ghost he said tell Jamaica I'm getting ready to use my anointed to take out the giants in this land the Philistine that have our lives in bondage get ready Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. What is your giant? Any giant in your life? Anything that give you trouble? Anything in your ear? If a sickness, if a family, if a husband, wife, politician, problem, marriage, whatever it is, call it a giant. Say today, today, Giant must fall. Giant must die. There's only one result. Death for the enemy. We're not playing games. Don't move them. Kill them. Giants must die. Lift your hands my giants. Whatever it is in my life. I'm calling it Goliath. Goliath, I want your head. Die in Jesus' name. Die. The anointed has come with one mission to kill. Some of you are playing with your giant. Some of you running from your giant. Some of you hiding from your giant. Some of you negotiating with your giant. David said, I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. The Lord is going to make me kill you. I come not with javelin and spear, but in the name of the Lord. I have one stone to sink in your forehead. One shot. Somebody say one shot. Somebody say one shot. One blow. Aim for the forehead. Something might drop on their face. All who are laugh at you. All who are mock and jeer you. All who are take step at you. All who are use and abuse you. Am I talking to somebody? They shall fall on their face. Can I prophesy? Shh. Somebody praise God. Somebody, you know you hear what I'm saying? Your giant will fall on their face. They shall be embarrassed, disgraced. Disappoint. Lift your neighbors, excuse me, because I'm about to tell somebody the table is about to turn. Somebody now turn here. Giants must die. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Fall on your face. Somebody say one shot. Somebody say do it. Do it. One. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Giants must die. 
Say, Lord, send my anointed to kill my giant. Hurry up. Hurry up, God. I can't manage. Can't take it no more. I'm under pressure. Feel like giving up. Feel like letting go. But I'm trusting you, God, to send the anointed to kill my giant. David didn't carry a sword to the battle. Hear me well. David did not brought a sword to the battle. He brought a sling and five stones. But David said, giant, today I'm going to cut off your head. What a fear. You know, you, you not get it. You not get it. Let me say it again. David did not bring a sword to the war and bring lunch pan sling and stone but he looked at the giant and said today the Lord will put you in my hands and I will cut up your head somebody said where am I going to get sword the giants in your life will die by their wounds You didn't hear the prophet here. I'll be a prophecy may I release. But some people don't want it. I say your giant will die by their own sword. Somebody praise God. You shall cut off the head with their own. Anything then do you. The table I go turn. Anything they use against you. It shall turn on them. They shall die. By their own. Is there a preacher here? I'm closing this. Huh? He slung the slingshot, bust the forehead, drop him upon him face. And him did he a flatter, a butter for life. Come here, tell you the one little stone that could kill him. That every girl, something there, it just knocked him out because he came with power by the Almighty God. And when he let it go with power, it's sinking in his forehead. But the power that he came with, it dropped him on his face. And him did he a butter flatter. David walk over, step on the head. Take up him sword, put it on him neck. Somebody says, Saka, Saka, cut off the head. Giant must die. Giant must die. Your giant must die. By tomorrow, this time, I prophesy somebody giant who had done your life will drop on their fear somebody know on the prophecy I'm telling us no problem I read up you know I don't know on the prophecy I just released something like Elisha but you don't want it I said by tomorrow this time you shall hear news that your Goliath has lost his head Shout yes, shout, shout. Then people are not believing me. Apostle Marshall, I was in Montego Bay yesterday. A woman walk up in the church, walk up and down in the church, and say, "Believe in other man, yeah. Me believe in him. I want Sunday morning. Me sit down and watch him on the TV." And he said, woman, get up. Your son is coming out of jail today. How to lock up. The woman said, me draw near. And say, I wonder if I feel me, son. He might talk, God, do make a for me. The man said, today, you woman, 
rise up be happy your son is coming home will be released today the woman get up half an hour after look out the door saw some men coming and the men say hello she said hi she said they say who are you she said i am so and so they say you will look for your son has been released come and get him today Shakata, Shabasataya, Rabashandakasa. This prophet is not joking. Me not nice, me not all perfect and cute, and me not have it all together. But one thing me know when God drop a word in my spirit, if he tell somebody, I saw he go, me not guess funny. Somebody by tomorrow this time. Your Goliath will be on his face, on her face. Shout hallelujah. So, prophesy major. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Receive strength. Yes, sir. For the journey. Uh -huh. Receive strength for the journey, mama. Uh. You have labored. Now the giant of sickness want to wreck your family, wreck your son, wreck your husband, wreck your life. But in the name of Jesus, strength hey. to fight the battle. Hey. I anoint you with strength yes. healing yes. deliverance yes. to face uh -huh. the giant in the name woman feel better yeah. I hear feel better yeah. I hear the Lord tell you feel better uh -huh. feel better yeah. feel better uh -huh. by tomorrow this time yes. no more doctor medication uh -huh. feel better I hear the Lord say, feel better. Yes, sir. Somebody touch your body and say, feel better. Feel better. Somebody touch yourself and say, feel better. Yes, sir. Somebody say, feel better. Yes, sir. Somebody say, I shall feel better. Feel better. In the name of Jesus. Better. Christ of Nazareth. Better. Bishop Murray. Feel better. Rakoshanda Baba. Feel better. Hey. Feel better. Mama, Mama Musia. Feel better. My Bishop, I put my hand around you to the order of Ezekiah and I declare reverse the order 15 more years I put my hand around you to the order of Elisha my body and the anointing will bring you back from the dead come on Jesus yes sir yes major come on worship somebody praise God Somebody say reverse, reverse the order, reverse. reverse, young lady. The Lord told me your life is a living hell, you're going through it. You sit down over here crying out to God because you need help. But I hear God say to tell you, confront them and conquer them. Confront. All right, and conquer. Uh huh. Confront. Uh huh. And conquer. Uh huh. Confront. Oh, power. Yeah. The anointing. Yeah. Touch. Uh -huh. Release. Uh huh. Reverse. Yeah. Loose. Uh huh. Firebomb. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Pokasha. I feel like Samuel. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Power. Power. Power is here. Power is here. Power is here, Major. The anointed has arrived to kill your giant. The anointed has arrived yeah. to kill yes, sir. your giant. Uh -huh. Somebody say, Giant! Giant! Die! Die! I fire. The order of death uh -huh. over your life shall be reversed. To your giant. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Backfire. 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 
You tell us, and I'm going to do it. God shall send. Back up. Anointed. To kill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want them people here understand the kind of faith and the kind of power, the kind of release that I'm releasing today. Yes, Your sir. giant uh -huh. must die uh -huh. for you to go forward. Yes, sir. For you to survive. Yes, sir. This time and season, for you to make it across your river yes sir your giant yes must die yes sir come on major can't get no promotion shia me not say injury no come on me not say move him no come on man. david said i will kill yes sir die i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you yes sir to the people Yes, sir. You want to kill me? Some people want to kill you. Uh huh. Destroy you. Well, turn it back today. Tell the giant. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, the God who powers me, the God who you are this, He will put you in my hand. Jesus. I'm going to kill you. All who want to kill Mark Stewart, I am going to kill you. You're not calling your name. The anointing that is upon me yes. is going to kill you. Yes, sir. Come on, Major. All who want to kill breakthrough, God is going to kill. Die by fire. Every giant who said dead at you out of their mouth, it shall be reversed back in. Yes, sir. Reverse. You don't trust God now. Reverse. Huh? Are you a fighty battle? David said, this one is the last. He will fight this one for me. Yes, sir. It's for the Lord. It's for the Lord. So, sir, don't worry. Jesus. I will fight. Holy Spirit. I'm not fighting with Saul's armor. I'm not fighting like the giant. Yes. I'm fighting in the name of the Lord. Yes. The God of Israel. Do you believe God? May I send a warning? Send a warning. Somebody say, wait, when you go to your yard, send a warning. Jesus. When you go to work tomorrow, send a warning. All right. When you walk down your street, send a warning. I hear you. Those who are plotting against your life and to turn your family into slave. Oh God, hold on. I get a warning. The giant and the political Philistines who are plotting who take Jamaican people for fool who are plotting to enslave kill, annihilate and destroy our lives and livelihood we come in the name of the Lord God of Israel to tell you giants God is about to give the church power uh huh the anointed is about to rise up with one intention that is to kill Jesus. They shall not prevail. Giants, you shall die. Goliath, you shall die. by fire. The sword of the Lord is coming against Parliament. Police force, doctors, soldier camp. I hear the Lord said David's sword is about to cut. Prophesy, Major. They'll die by their own sword. I feel God here. Hey. Giants in Jamaica, you're gonna die by your own sword. 
the table will turn. Prophesy, Major. Somebody said, play liquor, David. I am a warrior. I'm a Christian warrior. Now with the weapon in a me. I am a warrior. I'm a Christian warrior. With the warrior. The anointed warrior. Why you warrior? Oh, yo, 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 I am a, I'm a Christian with the weapon. I am, I am a warrior, a hey, Christian warrior, a hey, with the, in a me, warrior, oh, yo, 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 warrior, oh, yo, 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 warrior, Hey, hey, hey. Warrior. Apostle, yes, sir. There is a difference between us and the souls Come on. of our time. Yes, sir. Many have been rejected. Come on. But we are anointed. Come on, Major. Have no fear. I'm anointed to kill. All right, I hear you. David first assignment uh -huh. by God. Yes, Jesse, sir. Jesse, think of him as send David a battle. It is God. God. Who, I said it is God who inspired Jesse yes. to send David on his first assignment after his anointing. God said you hear me? God sent for him because God realized Israel was about to be embarrassed. And disgrace, and God said it shall not happen. So he called in the anointed with the anointing to battle. You notice, as he reached and heard the insult, he said, I will fight him. First day at battle. And he is the one who is ready. He slew the giant. Take off the head. And Israel killed the rest of the Philistine yes, and had victory because the anointed came to camp. The anointed is coming to your camp today. Holy Ghost. Have no fear. Yes, sir. God has heard your cry and he has seen the battle you're fighting and he realized by yourself, you cannot make it. He's sending in reinforcement. Yes, sir. To defend your cause. Do I have I delivered a word to somebody here? Uh-huh. Have I delivered a word to somebody? Yes, sir. I have no fear. Help is here. Help has arrived. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Die, 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 die. die, die, die. Die by fire. Lutheran and say, Lord, God of Israel, send my anointed to kill the giant. Die! Somebody say, Goliath, fall on your face. Die! Come on, worship, worship, worship. Come on, worship while your giant is going down. Come on, worship. Come on, worship, worship. Your giant is going down. Come on. Somebody lift. Somebody worship, worship. Come on, raise the head of Goliath like a trophy. Raise the head of Goliath like a trophy. Come on, somebody, somebody. The victory is here. The victory is here. Rabba Dalibese. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. Evil shall slay the wicked, 
and they that give oh yes they that hear the righteous yes will be desolate in the name of Jesus Kabakoshaya we command the giant in the name of Jesus to go down giant of affliction go down in the name of Jesus you giant of infirmity go down you giant of setback go down you giant of fear go down you giant of anxiety go down in the name of Jesus you giant of blood clot go down you giant of cancer go down you giant of cataract go down you giant of fibroids go down in the name of Jesus I pray you down you giant Libababanda of high potential you giant sugar diabetes you giant of pressure you giant chest pain you giant tummy pain you giant Rabababada lady Rabababada Andalaba Rebe Koshaya Rebe Banda in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus every obstacle before you I command them to go down in the name of Jesus every obstacle before you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every obstacle before your destiny I command those obstacles to be removed every obstacle before your children I command them in the name of Jesus you obstacle today you got to be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you obstacle of day of sadness you obstacle of bad luck in the name of Jesus you obstacle right now I command you to be removed in the name of Jesus you giant I attack you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you giant on the job I command you you're going down in the name of Jesus somebody raise your hand raise your hand today Rabba Kotoria we command the giant head right now in the name of Jesus to cut down we attack the headquarters right here my God the tampering with your destiny right where they're chanting over your name right where they're chanting against your children right at the headquarters in the name of Jesus right now oh yes sir we bomb it down we send the sword which is the word of God we terrorize the headquarters of hell in the name of Jesus we overthrow the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus somebody raise your hand attack the headquarters attack the headquarters Rabababadoshe Rabababadai Rabababashaya the headquarters of hell we shante we send forth the bomb we send forth the green head we send forth the twisted sword which is the word of God in the name of Jesus my God shall shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly they shall be wounded in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every giant in your house right now we cut them down in the name of Jesus Katalaba say Katalaba high Katalaba honey Kabashete somebody somebody get in the mood of warfare somebody clap your hands get in the mood of warfare get in the mood of warfare somebody begin to pray